Hello friends out there, Classic Vinyl Collectibles coming back at you with another video here. This is going to be part 11 of my New Wave Synth Pop Vinyl Record Collection from that fabulous time of the 80s. And I'm going to be showing you another stack here. There might be a few in here that I showed on my last video. I don't quite remember where I left off, but I'm going to have this stack to show you here. So we're going to go through some of these. And before I get started here, I don't like to do too long of an introduction, but before I get started, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I will get future videos out to you, especially hit the notifications button of when I produce new videos. Hit the like button too, that supports the channel. And also leave me your comments, your thoughts. I'd like to see what you think about all these records that were uh, so important to us back then, especially through our teenage years, if some of us were in high school like I was. Oh, what a great time it was. So let's go ahead and get started. The first record I'm going to show you is this right here. Gary Newman, My Dying Machine. This is uh, quite different than Cars. This sounds a little bit more of a darker Italo disco record. And uh, it's why take orders, why make reasons, give me a reason to die. If you've ever heard the song before, you'll agree with me that it's heavy on the synth drums heavy on the synthesizers, very Gary Newman style. I mean, even look at that cover there. So I picked this up off of Discogs and it's in perfect condition, better than it was even described. So I was really kind of uh, glad to find it in such great condition for its time. Now here we have Robert Hazard. This is the guy apparently that produced Girls Just Want to Have Fun by Cyndi Lauper. I'm gonna go more towards this track here, darker, uh, on the synth pop, uh, sounds a lot like kind of Sisters of Mercy or Secession in the vocals. And the song is Escalator of Life. We're riding on the escalator of life. We're shopping in the human malls. We want it all. It's a, bit, a little bit on the uh, maybe BPM of 124. And like I said, it's a little bit more of a darker song. I heard this on the Quake in the Bay Area. And this folds out to a poster for those who wanted to have it at that time. <clears throat> this is the only song I ever knew from this band here, Torch Song. The track is Prepared to Energize, and it was featured on a movie called Bachelor Party, but I had to have it. It's really kind of lightweight electro synth pop, but a great uh, electronic track. Great on the synthesizers too. If you've ever heard it before, you know what I mean. Otherwise, look it up on YouTube. And as I've said before on my videos, when you see my records and you see my collection, anything that you've never heard before, go ahead and write them down, make a playlist, because I am showing you pearls here. I lived during this time, it was high school for me. It was a great time to have a boom box and radio playing all this stuff, such as this one right here. Thomas Dolby, She Blinded Me With Science. You know the song, most likely. Also heavy on the synth drums, it's poetry in motion when she turned her eyes to me. This was a great robot dance, break dancing track that was so popular at that time. So here is Thomas Dolby. Any Depeche Mode fans out there, if you're familiar with Red Flag, Celebrate the Nun, C2 Jabu. Um, this is a track here. This is Seven Red Seven. And the song is Thinking of You. And the words were, I'm still thinking of you. You let me down. I'm still thinking of you. Um, really great if it's played loud. So look that one up if you've never heard it before. On a kind of an off label here, Speed Records. I don't know how long this label lasted, but this is a great track to have if you like that Depeche Mode sound. So remember The Breakfast Club, that ending song. Don't You Forget About Me. And what I heard recently was Billy Idol was offered to do the closing song of Breakfast Club and he turned it down. Well, what better track could we have to close out the Breakfast Club than Simple Minds, Don't You Forget About Me. Will you stand above me, look my way, or walk on by. Rain keeps falling down. Of course, there's the soundtrack right there. Now, another song that these guys did, I like this one probably even better, Alive and Kicking, just because it's very smooth sounding, has a lot of different changes, a nice break, and then the whole thing comes back. Um, 
if you know this track too, you know what I'm talking about. Alive and Kicking, beautiful song. Switching gears completely here is this group. A Split Second. These guys were really dark. The standing out track here is Flesh, and it starts off even with an eerie synth sound that just repeats that sequencer loop all the way through it. Heavy on the synth drums as well. And it says something about uh, sanctimonial rituals. I don't know what they're talking about. But another song in here too is Rigor Mortis. That was another big song by these guys. So I had to have that. And of course, here is their song, Rigor Mortis, by a split second. Also heavy on the synths. A lot of the stuff is real heavy because the synths they were using back then, I think were called emulators that Depeche Mode were even using. Now, look at this. We got a guy in a uh, sailor outfit, sailor hat, a couple other guys. Look like they're just typical yokels, maybe guys working out in the farmlands. Real simple looking. They're from Escalon, and really, Escalon is farmlands. It's about an hour away from me. This is one of the most strangest and really heavy on the synthesizer synth drum tracks I've ever heard. The original of this goes for about 2000 on Discogs. This I had to get as a repress because I am not shelling out 2000 bucks for a copy of this, nor can I even find one. So this was repressed. I will admit it, I have the repress. Some come with a poster, but some of you collectors out there, and one of them I'm thinking of in particular, Classic Gems, look this up, the shortwave mystery. The track on here is Pilots. If you don't have this, get this into your collection now before even the repressings are gone. This isn't 80s. This is more late 70s, but we're talking about space age galactic synthesizer. Not really disco, but it's really far out. Just a lot of echoes, a lot of sound effects, and then it turns just totally beautiful. If there was a soundtrack to if electronics were falling in love, I don't know, I'm kind of getting pro poetic there. Uh, this would be the track here. Look this up. Not a lot of people know about this. And this is a repress. I don't know how I could find the original, but this is another repress. You got to look this up. You're going to want it in your collection. Well, now here's one that everyone has, or at least everyone knows. Soft Sill, Tainted Love. Sometimes I feel I've got to run away. We all know the song, right? And this was, I think, one of their biggest hits right here. And it was off the nonstop erotic cabaret, I think was the album. But Soft Cell, had to have that in my collection. When this one came on, we all thought it was The Smiths. How soon is now? Because of that uh, reverb of Johnny Marr's guitar in the beginning. And then it ended up being this. Really cute club track here, Hippie Chick. If you know the song, you know what I'm talking about again. Great floor filler, um, kind of a breakbeat track too. Soho, Hippie Chick. I don't know if this is goth rock, but we're talking about Shriek Back Nemesis, Everybody's Happy When the Dead Comes Home. Love this song. If you like goth rock, if you like... Um, uh, Sisters of Mercy kind of stuff. If you like Bauhaus, uh, if you like The Cure, this is going to fit right in. So look that one up too. Shriek Back Nemesis. I've spoken before about Secession. They're a band from Scotland. I'm going to grab a couple of their records here. This one here, this has some sounds in it. This kind of remind me of the Dark Ages during the Castle Days period. I don't know why. It just sounds like something epic of a fairy tale in a book. But it has that bouncy four to floor synth uh, bass line to it. And then the guy's dark vocals come out. Very similar, again, to Sisters of Mercy kind of vocal or Clan of Zymox. This has also been on splattered marble vinyl. Marble vinyl. You have to know the song, Secession Touch. You gotta know it. You will love it. Even look up the live performance. It looks like they're doing it in a club. Now their other track here is The, Magi the Magician. 
a very nice funky breakbeat track, uh, very happy sounding. And this is probably one of the best club tracks ever made, Secession the Magician. There is no thought to this sleeve design, and I also got some really bad looking sticker wear. When I was buying my records years ago off of Discogs, I wasn't paying attention to the grading system, so bear with me. So we've just got this uh, one picture here. What a great track this was, and I did recommend this to my buddy Classic Jams. If you like my collection, you got to look up his Classic Jams with a K. You will love his collection too. He's got a ton of videos of breakdance, breakbeat stuff, all the way to new wave and synth pop. Uh, you name it, I think he's pretty much got it. I recommended this to him, and he went out and picked it up. So there was that one, and then we have this other one, The Promise. Uh, great track, too, also from them. It's just their total style of secession, but a great bass line. I think they're using a real bass guitar in this, real funky, and also break beats in this. The Promise. Now, these guys here, I think they're from Canada. I'm not sure, but Network Label is from Canada, and that is Severed Heads. Um, another powerful track, The Greater We Reward. If you know Severed Heads and you know the guy's vocals, I think it's two guys. Uh, this was a very standout track back in, I think, about 87. I remember I, I was in Alameda at that time when this came out. So look that up, too. And this is their album also on Network. I don't know how I would describe this. Uh, very simple, hard-hitting synth beats and uh, synthesizers as well. But the vocals are what stand out on this. And I heard about these guys on KZSU, way to the left of the dial on the radio at um, Stanford University, down in the basement. Those were a great time. Just a knock on the door, and around me was all the moss growing on the stone wall in the door. Uh, to walk down there in the basement and see their whole record collection and to hear the stuff playing late at night. Now I mentioned Gary Newman at the beginning of this video. You ever heard this track, Change Your Mind? If you don't know it and you're a Gary Newman fan, he teamed up with this guy Bill Sharp. What a great synth pop track right here. This is total Gary Newman style in his early sound after Cars. And um, I don't know how much further I can explain explain this right here but my buddy who had uh, a club he was DJing at in Alameda he played this a lot and this stood out to me and I had to go out and get it so I have my copy and it has change your mind nothing ever stays the same Sig Sig Sputnik this is more of Acid House and I think it came out in probably 88 if you like Acid House this is the one to pick up. I have another copy. I think it's in here, my stack. But this was the standout track of these guys. I don't know what else they did. But if you like Acid House, grab this one here. You should have this in your collection, either as an MP3 or the vinyl. I always say, support the vinyl. It's all come back, and thank goodness. Sparks. Music that you condense to. Cracks you like a whip, but it feels so nice. And I love the video because the girl in the video, she's wearing a tight skirt and her hips are moving back and forth. It's just that uh, 80s dance that was so popular. Uh, very cute video, but this has got that choppy synthesized or uh, sequencer loop all the way through it. It's just really cutting. So sparks, music you can dance to. When I started these videos of this genre of new wave and synth pop, I neglected to show a record that was very powerful. You want to talk about a cracking track is this right here. Alphaville, do you want to dance with me to one of those lonely nights? Um, I can only put this up there with the sounds of maybe U2, Flock of Seagulls, that kind of sound, Ultravox. But this is the track to get from them. They had Big in Japan. It was nice. This is the song to get. And I had never heard this before when I bought this at Musicland back when it came out. I took a chance on it, brought it home. I couldn't believe how it sounded. Sparks. I think I had shown this in one of my other videos. I'll show it again. Sparks, Cool Places. Jane Whelan from the Go-Go's teams up with Sparks here. 
and I want to go to cool places with you. We're never going to cool down. I want to go to cool, cool, cool places tonight. Very fun song, totally electronic. How could you go wrong with sparks? German techno. This one wasn't cheap, but I had to get it. Access denied by Sound Squad. This is when German techno was really big in the late 80s. Um, some of the other tracks are on that, that there was uh, um, Too Fast to Live. Then you got Trebantura, Sound Squad, Voyu Hausmann, Germany Calling, Microchip League. Then you had Front 242. I don't know if they were German techno, but long in that genre there. So Sound Squad. Access denied. That was about, I think, 50 bucks on Discogs. Alrighty, let's go back again to that Club Twilight Zone that my friend was DJing at. I refer to it a lot because he played a lot of this stuff. Input S50. This is one of the finest club tracks out there as far as a floor filler. And uh, I don't know how else to describe it other than just an outstanding, fun synth pop tune not new wave but a synth pop tune if you don't know this look it up i don't care if it's on spotify or youtube in a playlist you have to have this uh here's another remix of six six sputnik success just because i like the original track so much i had to pick up this one here and uh, it's got some other remixes on it i'll have to listen to it again but I just love that track so much that I picked up this one. Rational Youth. They had a great song called Dancing on the Berlin Wall. It was on Ram's Horn Records. I think it's out of Canada. And we are dancing on the Berlin Wall. They also had this one and City of Night. But this one was Saturdays in Silesia. A little bit more on the Italo disco sound kind of fast maybe 128 to 130 bpm and speaking of italo disco if you know what that is i have a ton of it to show and i got tons more coming italo disco as i can just describe it was it took off in asia it was huge in europe in fact it came out of italy and germany made it huge over there and it is really romantic and poetic synth pop with synthesizers and synth drums in fact some of it is just very epic celestial ethereal dreamy heavenly sound and like i guess too very romantic i will be showing you videos of that later some of the modern talking bad boys blue ken laszlo cc catch silent circle a lot of that kind of stuff and so i'll be showing that in future videos so if you like italo disco or you want to see what i'm talking about like i said subscribe to the channel and you'll be seeing that. These guys here, Section 25, they have an album called From the Hip. Uh, this guitar waltz, uh, nothing. I don't know why they made it a single. Now, the standout track is Dirty Disco 2. It has a breakbeat track, uh, drum beat all the way through it. And gosh, lots of guitars, lots of synths. It's loud but I heard it on KZSU and I don't usually use this word a lot, but it is a sick track. You got to look it up. There is Dirty Disco and then there's uh, Dirty Disco 2 by Section 25. And by the way, they have another song called Looking From The Hilltop. Ooh, a very choppy synth track too. And if you see the videos, there's two of them and there's one with the girl and the wind is blowing her hair. And when she's singing the song, it's fantastic to watch. My last record here is Sample and Hold. I think I may have showed this to you in another video. However, why don't you answer a little bit more lightweight on the sense? It's a phone call and nobody's answering. And then it's got this really nice guitar through it. And I don't really know how else to describe it. It looks like it might be from Germany. Picked this up from Butch Wax in San Francisco when all of our record stores were still intact and it was the most funnest time to go record shopping, if that's a word, funnest. It was a great time to go record shopping. So that is that stack right there. I'm going to have another one for you that I'm going to make soon. So subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, 
and go ahead and send me your replies. Tell me what you think of all of this. I'd like to hear from you. I know that you're looking at the videos and let's chat and also hit the notifications button and I will get future videos out to you soon. Thank you.